Hello, my name is Graham Stanley and I'm a teacher at the British Council Young Learner Centre in Barcelona, Spain. I'm very happy and honoured that Leo has asked me to say a few words today at the beginning of your conference. And uh, before I continue, I'd like to wish you all uh, the very best and I hope you have a very successful event. So, I'm going to speak about my six tips for what I consider to be effective use of ICT to help all of you who want to get started or to continue using technologies with your students. Tip number one, don't be afraid of technology. Jump in the water and start swimming. A lot of teachers I know are quite negative about their own abilities, but there's no mystery to it and it's just a question of practice, just like learning a language. So stop saying you can't and just do it. Tip number two. Nowadays, the pace of technological change is incredible. It's impossible to keep up with everything that's happening. But don't worry, you don't have to try everything out. This is why you need to belong to a PLN, or Personal Learning Network, to connect to other teachers online through Facebook, Orkut, Twitter, and mailing lists such as the British Council Teaching English website. And then you'll be part of a huge virtual staff room. Tip number three. With so much happening, it's difficult to know where to start. My advice to you is to start with one class. Choose the class you think that will appreciate something a little different and introduce something new for a term, for example. You could start blogging and ask the students to do so a little every week and see how it goes and keep monitoring the students' progress. If it works, then build upon it. If it doesn't, then drop it and simply uh, do something new. So don't worry where to start, just start. Tip number four, don't be afraid to ask others for help. Again, related to tip number two, once you connect with other teachers doing something similar, you'll find a supportive environment and this will help you. Also, don't forget to turn to the teachers who work with you too in your school, academy or university. If you find someone who's interested, then turn to them and help each other. Tip number five. Remember, it's not about the technology, it's about the pedagogy. This is very important. Don't use technology just because you can, or because it's new, or because you like it. Always think if it will help your learners learn better. If you think that's the case, then go ahead. If not, then don't use it. I'm a teacher who's very comfortable with technology simply because I've spent a lot of time using it but there are many of my classes when I don't touch it at all. Tip number six, use the learners. Many of our learners may be more adept at using technology than we are so take advantage of this and get them uh, involved. Move away from being the teacher and ask your learners to teach you how something works, for example. It'll make a change and they'll probably love the opportunity to do so. And, very importantly, they'll have to use their English fully to be able to explain it to you. So that's it, my six tips to help you with uh, using ICT in the classroom with your learners. Once again, thank you for listening and I hope you have a fabulous event today. And maybe I'll see you in Peru sometime. Bye-bye.